bye. Adiós, bye. Hello. <laughs> What's, what's going on? Hi, how are you? Hi, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good Hi, evening. Teacher. Good Hi, to teacher. see you. Good to see you, everybody. Let's begin. Okay. Um, attendance. Okay. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Teacher, está trabajando igual que ayer. Creo que hasta el lunes se va a conectar porque ayer intentó conectarse donde estaba trabajando y no pudo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Carles Ernesto López. Good evening, teacher. Presente. Good evening. Welcome. Baudilio Elenison Rivera. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. Good evening teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present teacher. Welcome. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Dijo ahí en WhatsApp que... Sí, va a tardar un poquito en entrar. David Antonio Rosales García. Bueno, presente, teacher. Hello, welcome. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Presente, presente, teacher. Thank you. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Ever Francis Alballero. Present teacher in class. Thank you. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. En turno teacher, siempre en, ahí están en el dispositivo en los juegos. De... Ok. Ever Taristi de Soya Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Um, José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Amilca Reyes Cruz. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Jose Valentin Rivera Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, presente teacher, presente. Thank you. Juan Carlos Arrazábal Calderón. Juan Francisco, perdón, Arrazábal Calderón. Thank you. I'm sorry. Okay. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Presente, teacher. Thank you. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. María de Lourdes. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Okay. Welcome. María Magdalena Cedillos González. María Magdalena evening, Cedillos. Teacher. Present. Good evening. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Presente, teacher. Thank you. Monica Yvette Merino Rivas. Monica Yvette Merino Rivas. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present teacher. Welcome. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Hello. 
Okay, I'm calling some of the names again. Eh, por si acaso, me han dicho algunos que no se van a conectar, pero aquí veo a Arles Ernesto López. Ahí lo veo conectado. Ok. Cecia Gemima. Good evening, teacher. Ya le había contestado al inicio. Arles López. Uy, perdón. No, un momento. Entonces, ah, no, perdón, perdón, perdón. Adán era que estaba viendo acá. Lo siento. Ok, no, sí, es, tiene no. razón, tiene razón. Ok, Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima. Franklin de la O Ayala. Me dicen que está trabajando. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. Present teacher, ya me lo había reportado al chat. Ah, ok. Mónica Ivet Merino Rivas. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Bueno, ahorita veo el chat. Ajá, José Mirka, ya está, Iván Alexis, ya está, Juan Carlos, ok, Juan Francisco Arrasábal, programa de, de recepción. Ok, everybody, thank you. Let's begin. Comenzamos entonces. Ok, well, um, everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Principiante Módulo 3, and this is me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number eight, and today is June 29th of 2023. So, everybody, welcome. Welcome again. So what are we going to do today? Well, we need to finish section number three. We're going to also go over uh, the midterm and also we're going to do some practice exercises. So um, let's do this part. By the end of this class, you will develop skills in reading for details and making inferences. Inferences, I'm sorry. Para el final de esta clase, ustedes desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para los detalles, hacer inferencia. So what's that? I have a chat entry here. Franklin de Lao, presente, dice. Okay. Ahorita tomamos su asistencia. Thank you. Okay. Everybody, take a look. So this is a walk up Fifth Avenue. Okay, we're going to read the text. This is a walk up Fifth Avenue. Take a good look. So as you read, look at the map in exercise nine. Well, we don't have the map, but take a look at this. I need volunteers to read this. Okay, number one, Jose Amilcar, please help me read number one. Eh, lectura, verdad? Yes. Okay. Start your tour in the Empire State building on Fifth Avenue between 33. It's ordinal. Es un número ordinal. Es un número ordinal. Así que sería 30. 33. 33 yeah. is, uh, aha. well, you will have to say it like this. Look. Remember that if you say this, this is 33. But this is different. This is yeah. an ordinal number. So you say 30. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. 33rd. Okay. That's a different different type of, of number. So we have the 33rd. 33 and 33rd. So start your tour at the Empire State Building on 5th Avenue between 33rd and... <laughs> In a three, four. Mm -hmm. So the next one will be. Oh, sorry. Thirty fourth. Okay, thirty third, thirty fourth. Uh huh. Okay, so thirty third and thirty fourth streets. Okay. And thirty three and and. No, bueno, 34 streets, this building has, has well, will it start, number 12. <laughs> how, do you, 12 how, how do you say, how do you say 100? Es este, 102. Yes. Yeah. Floor, Floors. 
floors take the elevator to the 100 through and okay blue. ordinal ordinal number 100 and <laughs> what <laughs> es, es ordinal es ordinal por lo tanto 100 and el último es el que cambia veamos if you say it like this Tenemos one hundred and well and two. Pero si tenemos esto, ya es un ordinal. Entonces decimos one hundred and what is second. this? Second, correct. Second. One hundred okay. and second. Good. One hundred one hundred and second. Mm -hmm. Floor for a great view of New York City. Okay, thank you, Jose Amilcar. Very good. Jose Benjamin Gavidia. Okay, por acá no informa que hay problemas de señal. Okay, estoy al tanto. Okay, so um, I'm going to read it. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Tienen alguna consulta, pregunta sobre el vocabulario? Aprovechen que de ahí viene el reading comprehension. Quizá, bueno, en mi caso solamente esto significa que cada número, perdón mm -hmm. que no levante la mano. Teacher. No hay problema. Este, en este caso, siempre que, aunque sea, esté hablando de direcciones, siempre que eh, sea, que de, posterior a los números se encuentre el NND, siempre se va a entender que son ordinales. Mm -hmm. Pero no siempre es ND, sino que puede ser RD, que en este caso es third, en este caso okay. es fourth. Básicamente son las dos últimas letras de la palabra. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿qué, qué, perdón, ¿qué dijo que significaba el, después del 34 la TH? ¿Qué significa que es ordinal? Es ordinal. Ajá. Aquí podemos Ordinate. verlo. Por ejemplo, en este caso, 33rd, el RD es este RD que está acá. 34th, este TH es el TH que está acá. Sí. Y aquí este ND es el ND que está acá. Si okay. digamos fuese el, este, digamos acá, tendría que ser ST porque sería 31st. First. First. ST. Okay. Mm -hmm. Por eso es. Thank, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Ahora, si no lleva ninguna letra el número, entonces es un número cardinal. Se lee. Normal, 102. Pero ahora aquí es 102nd. Okay. Okay. Uh, anybody, do you have any, well, uh, the rest of you, do you have any questions about this? ¿Alguna consulta, pregunta? No questions? Okay, no questions. Let's move on. Number two, volunteer, please. Who wants to read? Number two. Enrique. Yeah, voy a intentar. Okay, let's try. Number two. Number two, yes. Nahualca, Fifth Avenue, Seven Blue to, to the New York Public lab, lab, Library or Library. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Library. Library. The, the and entrance is between entrance 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 is between uh, 40 40 40 is and 40 second strip mm -hmm. this library hall hall over uh, 10 million book Be, behind the library is Brian Park in the summer there is an outdoor cafe and a lounge 
launch or there are free music concerts. Free music concerts. Okay, thank you, Enrique. Now, walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryan Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe and at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Okay, this is the second one. Question, Teacher. yes. Teacher. Es la palabra, es, eh, por ejemplo, le dice New York Public Library, the entrance, el significado. La entrada. Entrada. Ay, mm -hmm. ay. The entrance. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. The entrance yeah. is between 40th and 42nd streets. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Tenía pequeña duda ahí. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions about the vocabulary? ¿Alguna otra consulta? Compañeros. No me creo. Ajá. ¿Alguna consulta, pregunta? Es buen momento para, para hacerla. ¿Verdad? Luego sigue el ejercicio. No questions. Ok. What is the meaning of outdoor? Entonces, yo les pregunto a ustedes. What's the meaning of outdoor? Uh -huh. Outdoor. What's the meaning of outdoor? Baudilio. Salir por la puerta. Mm, not really. No. Outdoor is an adjective. Es un adjetivo. ¿Qué significa que está al aire libre? Eso es outdoor. Mm -hmm. Entonces dice ahí, in the summer, there is an outdoor cafe. Como pueden ver ahí la foto, ¿verdad? Outdoor cafe. Es un café al aire libre. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Okay. Una recomendación es siempre que ustedes lean, y esto es importantísimo, pero sumamente importante. Cuando ustedes estén leyendo un texto y encuentren una palabra que no conozcan o de la cual no estén seguros, Deténganse e investiguen qué es. Hoy, más que nunca, esto, esto es más fácil de lo que jamás ha sido. ¿verdad? Solo tiene que ir a su celular, lo busca en un buen diccionario o en Google, simple y sencillamente, y ahí está la respuesta. Eh, Súper sencillo, ¿verdad? Así que eh, les recomiendo mucho eso. Siempre, siempre que estén leyendo algo y encuentren una palabra que no conozcan, averigüen qué es. No caigan en el error, ¿verdad? De, digamos, encontrar palabras y simplemente saltárselas. Hay gente que, bueno, hay muchas personas, ¿verdad? Que así, que leen las cosas. Dicen, por ejemplo, uh, Now walk up Fifth Avenue, seven blocks in your library. The entrance is between, between, o sea, between. A ver qué significa, pero, bueno, ahí se va. Ok, 40, ¿verdad? Entonces la gente así lee muchas veces. Y a veces eso nos pasa por, a veces es un poquito de pereza, ¿verdad? Que nos da, hay que buscar la palabra. Pero si usted se salta la palabra que no conoce, entonces ahí eh, puede estar la clave para resolver el siguiente ejercicio, ¿verdad? El vocabulario es sumamente importante. Así que siempre que encuentren palabras que no conozcan, averigüen qué es. Si es posible, tengan un cuadernito donde vayan anotando las palabras nuevas y luego al final del día las repasan. Una buena forma de fortalecer su vocabulario. Enrique. Sí, teacher. Yo ahí me apoyo también con el diccionario, utilizando un poco también con la inteligencia artificial, porque se abre ahí eh, con el apoyo de internet y solo se pronuncia la palabra y le tira español e inglés ahí solo. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Como digo, hoy en día con las herramientas tecnológicas que tenemos... Es súper fácil buscarlo. ¿verdad? Hace un montón de años cuando no teníamos así mucho internet en el celular, había que ocupar el diccionario. Entonces, qué problema dar un diccionario. Pero hoy, ¿verdad? Está al alcance de nuestra mano. Constantemente está en nuestra mano la herramienta. Ok. Number three. I need a volunteer, please. Number three.
Number three. Ever Enrique, thank you. Wallach Sit Avenue to 69th Street. 49th. 49, 49, 49th Street, you are standing in the middle on the 19th building on Rockefeller Center. To right on the 49th Street, wall another block, and to left, you are in the Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the ring there. Okay, thank you very much. All right, take a look. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You are standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block and turn left. You are in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink here. Okay, so do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Tienen preguntas? Paudilio. In the ring. What the is ring. Yeah. Ice, an ice skating rink es una pista de patinaje. Ese es el rink. Es la pista que ven ahí. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Ebert Aristides. Eh, middle, algo así. Creo que se llama. Studying in middle. the middle. In the middle. middle. In the middle. Okay. The so you can be at the beginning, at the end, and okay, at the beginning, at the end, in the middle. En medio de. That's in the middle. Gracias, profe. Okay, you're welcome. You are standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Está parado, verdad? En medio de los 19 edificios del centro of Rockefeller. Okay. Any other questions about the vocabulary? Una otra consulta, duda? No more questions. Okay, then. I need a volunteer to read number four. What about number four? Number four. Maria de Lourdes. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. Cathedral, it's sorry, cathedral. Cat cathedral. Uh -huh. It's modeled after the cathedral in Colony, mm -hmm. Germany. Mm -hmm. Go inside St. Patrick's and live and left the noise city in behind, behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. Right across from Rockefeller Center on Fifth Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. So, do you have any questions about the vocabulary? Questions about the vocabulary, please raise your hand. Enrique, den María Magdalena, den Baudilio. Mantengan su mano levantada mientras no hayan participado. ¿Qué chera ahí dice patria en live the noisy? Noisy. Noisy, noisy means ruidoso yeah. o ruidosa. Leave the noisy city behind. Deje atrás, ¿verdad? La ciudad ruidosa, la, la ruidosa ciudad. Ok, ya. Yeah. Ok. María Magdalena. Catedra in Colón. Ah, that's that's a place in Germany. Es un lugar en Alemania, Cologne, Germany. Cuando dice it's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany, quiere decir que 
eh, el modelo está basado en esa otra catedral de Alemania. Ah, okay. uh -huh. All right. Thanks, Thank You're you. welcome. Baudilio Lenilson. The microphone, Baudilio. Era la misma pregunta sobre the noise city. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. All right, okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? No more questions. Okay, then, let's continue. Now, the questions are, this is uh, 1.12, reading, I walk up Fifth Avenue. This is basically the last part before we do a couple more exercises. Okay. So, um, where can you listen to music outdoors? Where can you listen to music outdoors? Mm -hmm. That's the first question, reading comprehension. Where can you listen to music outdoors? Maria Lourdes. New York Public Library. At the New York Public Library. Not exactly. Not exactly. Brian Park. At Brian Park. That is correct. Okay. Yeah, you can listen to music at Brian Park. Look. Behind the library is Bryan Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe, and at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Okay, very good. Number two, where can you go ice skating in the winter? Baudilio. Rockefeller Place. Plaza, right? It's okay. uh, Rockefeller Plaza. Okay, that's right. Thank you, Valilio. That is correct. You have it right here. Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink here. Rink there, I'm sorry. Maria de Lourdes, do you have a question? Yes, uh -huh. I have a question. ¿Cuándo usar place y cuándo usar plaza? Una plaza es una plaza. Es parecido a una plaza, ¿verdad? Como un lugar abierto, por lo general cuadrado. Uh, place es un lugar. Puede ser cualquier lugar. Uh -huh. This place, that place, este lugar, aquel lugar. Usted también puede ocupar la frase my place para indicar su, su casa. Uh -huh. My place or your place. En mi casa o en tu casa. Es. Ok. All right. Um, what about number three? Where can you sit quietly indoors? Where can you sit quietly indoors? Maria de Lourdes. San Patrick's Cathedral. Yeah, you can sit quietly indoors at St. Patrick's Cathedral. Correct. What is the meaning of indoors? What is the meaning of indoors? ¿Se acuerdan que hace un momento les dije el significado de outdoors? ¿Qué era outdoors? Outdoor, también se reconoce como outdoors, ok. Al aire libre. Al aire libre, ajá. And then you, say, you have indoor and indoors, ok. ¿Qué será esto? Adentro. Adentro. Ajá, adentro de un edificio o de una casa. That's right. Por ejemplo, ahorita ustedes, bueno, creo que la mayoría, ¿verdad? You are indoors. A menos que algún compañero ande por ahí patrullando o algo y anda en la calle, anda outdoors, ¿ok? Pero ustedes están, puedo ver ahí, por lo menos que tienen la cámara, ¿verdad? Que están indoors. Baudilio parece que está outdoors, pero es el fondo, en realidad. El fondo la orilla de la parte, playa pues, está Baudilio. La orilla de la playa. Uh -huh. Está bien claro para la hora de la noche. Ok, so, 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the last one. Where can you get a view of the city? Where can you get a view of the city? Esta vez quiero que me participe alguien que no lo ha hecho hasta el momento. Sorry about video. <laughs> Uh -huh. Where can you get a view of the city? Ever, Taristides. Empire State Building. Algo the, así. the Empire State Building. That's correct. Very good. Yes, the Empire State Building. <coughs> Cecia Gemima, how are you? I'm fine. Okay. Uh, ya present. Okay. Ahorita. Thank you, Cecia. Aprovechando, pregunto. ¿Está por acá Mónica Ivette Merino? ¿No? Salvador Manrique. Ya lo vi. Ahí está. Eh, ¿Santos Mauricio? No. Ok. All right. So, uh, let's continue. Ok. So, what are we going to do? What time is it, by the way? 7.32. Okay, vamos a ir de una sola vez al midterm. Para salir de eso más pronto. Y luego nos quedamos haciendo ejercicios adicionales. Para que no nos vaya a agarrar la tarde. Bueno, la noche más bien. Okay. Dicho, perdón. Salvador Manrique presente. Okay, ya está su asistencia. Gracias, Salvador. Gracias. Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, we are going to solve the midterm. Vamos a resolver el midterm. Está por acá. Okay, everybody. Midterm. First part is the listening. Okay, listening. Instructions. Instructions is okay. <laughs> Instructions. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. Escuche. Escuche. Dice aquí. Las conversaciones. Seleccione la respuesta correcta. So what are you going to do? I want you to listen. Okay. And tell me the correct answer. Mark is going to be 13 years old, 30 years old, or 33 years old. Number two, they are going to have a party on Friday, on Saturday, or on Sunday. And number three, they're going to dance at the party, they're going to sing songs at the party, or they're going to watch television at the party. I'm going to play the track for you. Please listen, and then you tell me the answers. One. Escucharon ese one? <laughs> yes, okay. Yeah. Okay, listen. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. Okay, number one. Mark is going to be 13, 30, or 33 years old. Raise your hand if you know the answer. Cecia. 13. 13 years old. One. Mm. Permítanme. La animación. No le eliminé la animación a esto. Por eso suena descontroladamente. Ok. Problema resuelto. 13 years old. Correct. Ok. Thank you, Cecia. All right. Uh, number 13. Yes. He's okay. going to go to high school next year. Number two. Two. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Okay, number two. They're going to have a party on, Modilio? Saturday. Saturday. That's correct. Okay, very good. Number three. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. So they're going to dance, sing songs, or watch television at the party? Raise your hand if you know the answer. Maria Magdalena. Sing song. 
sing songs in a karaoke machine. Correct. Okay, they're going to sing songs at the party. Very good. Okay, that's the listening part. Let's move on. Part B, match the questions with the answers. Instructions, match the questions with the answers. Okay, relaciona la pregunta con la respuesta. So number one, are we going to work this weekend? This week, this weekend. Tendría que decir this weekend, ahí, por cierto. Bueno, si está en la plataforma. <laughs> are we going to work this weekend? Sería this en vez de this. Okay, uh, volunteer. María Magdalena, no sé si quiere participar o si le quedó la mano levantada. Okay, so um, who, who can help me with this one? Choose the correct answer. Carlos Alberto. The letter C. Letter C. Can you read it? No, we're not. We're going to relax. No, we're not. We're going to relax. That is correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Carlos. Number two. Are they going to cook dinner? If you have the answer, please raise your hand. Cecia, and then Karen Yulisa, and then Maria Lourdes. No bajen la mano. Tengan ahí levantada. Cuando ya hayan terminado, ya la bajan. Okay, Cecia. Yeah, uh, yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Letter? D. Correct. Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. Thank you, Cecia. Now we'll continue. Karen Julissa takes the next one. Number three. Are you going to exercise this evening? A. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. That is correct. Very good. Thank you, Karen. Next one is for Maria de Lourdes. Number four. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. What letter is it? E. Letter E. Correct. Yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. Very good. Thank you. Number five. Are Pam, Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. De nuevo, anímense a participar. Si se equivocan, lo peor que va a suceder es que lo voy a corregir muy respetuosamente. Mm -hmm. Are Pam and Andrew going to have a picnic this weekend? Baudilio. No, it's not, not going. Then... It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be cloudy. Cloudy. Mm, are you sure? Uh... No, no, I am not sure. Okay. It is and uh, no, they aren't. They are going to have a part. Have a party. Letter F. Letter F. Okay. No, they aren't. They're going to have a party. Correct. Okay. Very good. All right. Okay. We go for the next one. Um, Karen Julissa, number six. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Mm 
B. Mm -hmm. Can you read it? No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Okay, that sounds good. All right, that's the end of this exercise. Exercise B. Let's move on. Exercise C. Thank you, uh, Karen Julissa. Very good. Let, let us see. Select WH questions to complete the conversations. Instructions. I'm going to zoom in. Select WH questions to complete the conversations. Seleccione la pregunta interrogativa, es decir, abierta, WH para completar las conversaciones. So, what is the question? The answer is next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Carlos Alberto. Is where are you going to the next summer? Where are you going to go next summer? Yeah, where are you going to go next summer? Okay, very good. Next summer, we're going to Alaska. Thank you. Uh, the next one, Alaska, wow. Blah, 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 blah. And the answer is, we're going to take a boat. What's the question? Maria Magdalena. Um, where are you going to get here, there? How are you going to get there? That is correct, okay? How are you going to get there? ¿Cómo va a llegar hasta ahí? ¿Cómo va a ir? The answer is, we're going to take a boat, okay? That is correct, thank you, very good. Then, that sounds so exciting, then the question, the answer is, I'm going to go with my family. What's the question? Carlos and then Cecia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. Where where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Mm -hmm. Sorry, but no, that's not the question. Cecia, what do you have? Is who are you going to go with? Who are you going to go with? That's the question. The answer is, I'm going to go with my family. Okay. Thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Cecia. And the last one is, great. Okay, then the question. The answer is, we're going to go on June 21st. What is the question, Maria de Lourdes? When are you going to go? When are you going to go? Correct. We're going to go on June 21st. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Lo mismo me participan. Lo mismo cinco. Okay. Vamos. Los demás también. Vamos el esfuerzo ahí. Next exercise, exercise D, complete the conversations. Bueno, como no se puede poner aquí el menú desplegable, y si se puede, no, no he descubierto cómo, aquí están las opciones a la par. So, instructions, complete the conversations, select the correct word. Complete las conversaciones, seleccione la palabra correcta. So, conversation one, I, bla, 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 a headache. Okay, so... Maria Magdalena. I have a headache. I have a headache. Okay, that's correct. And B, what is B? Baudilio. And then Karen Julissa. Take these pills. Take these pills. Okay, yeah, that's correct. Take these pills. Very good. Karen Julissa, conversation two. What's that? What's the matter? What's the matter? Okay. What's the matter? Uh -huh. Okay. Look at the puzzle. So, what's the matter? Very good. Thank you, Karen, Julissa, and letter B. Raise your hand if you know, please. Baudilio. Okay, Baudilio. Let's do this. No me I, I don't feel well. I have stomach. Stomach ache. Stomach ache. Yeah, stomach ache. Ache. Stomach. Stomach cake. Eight. Okay. Okay. I don't feel well. I have a stomach cake. Okay. Good. Nice. Give me a second. Okay. 
uh, the next one. Conversation three, letter A. Who can help me? Maria Magdalena. Who do you feel today? How do you feel today? How do, okay. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? Okay. And the answer is, raise your hand, Karen Julissa. No, not so good. I have sore eggs. Not so good. I have sore eyes. Okay. Not so good. So I have eyes. sore eyes. Okay. So I. All right. That's good. Thank you very much. Thank you, Karen. Conversation four. Carlos Alberto. Quiero ver, me participan Carlos Alberto, Baudilio, Baudilio, María Magdalena, Karen Julisa, me participa Cecia, María de Lourdes, y de ahí los demás ya no los veo. Ok. Somos invisibles. Están en modo invisible. No, hombre, participen. En modo espectador. Están aquí nomás, aquí estamos en el modo escondido. Modo escondido, modo incognito. Están ahorita. Ok. Vamos, vamos. Anímense a participar. Okay. Carlos Alberto, conversation four. Hey, I have a backache. Backache. Ok. Uh, don't exercise. Ok, don't exercise. Ok, that's good. Thank you. Baudilio, number four. And? Use this medication. And use this medication. That's correct. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok. Exercise E, read the article. Instructions, read the article, then select the correct home remedy for each condition. Lea el artículo, luego seleccione el remedio casero correcto para cada padecimiento. So the home remedies are here. Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. Try these simple home remedies. A cold. What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. A cough, <laughs> right? Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. A headache. What about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. And the last one is insomnia. Can't sleep at night? Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Okay, those are the home remedies. So, questions now. For a cold, what can you do for a cold? Raise your hand if you know. Carlos. Ya ven? Ahí van los mismos cinco. Ah, Carlos, let's do this. Some people eat the hot chicken soup. Some people eat hot chicken uh, soup. Okay. That's correct. ¿Qué pasó? No sale. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. Some people eat hot chicken soup. All right. Uh, that's correct. Thank you, Carlos. Maria Magdalena. For a cough. For a cough. Huh? Uh, you can drink warm tea or take some honey. You can drink warm tea or take some honey. That's right. Very good. Thank you. Number three. For a headache. Baudilio, and then Karen Julissa. Put a cold cloth on your hand. Put a cold cloth on your head. That is correct. Okay, thank you, Baudilio. And the last one, Karen Julissa, for insomnia. What do you do for insomnia? Espérame que no miro. Mm 
drink a large drink a large glass of warm milk or tea a warm bath. That's correct. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a warm bath. Correct. Very good. Okay. Nice. Very nice. That's the end of the presentation, but it's not the end of the class. So we're going to do a few uh, practice exercises. Vamos a hacer unos cuantos ejercicios de práctica. Okay. So uh, I want you to take a look at this map. Vamos a practicar esto un poquito. Where's the bookstore? No me van a decir cómo llegar al lugar, ¿verdad? Esa parte creo que es la más complicada. Solo quiero que me digan dónde están los lugares. So you have the first one. Where's the bookstore? Okay. Where's the bookstore? You say it's on Pine Street. Where's Pine Street? This is Pine Street. Look, it's on Pine Street between the bank and the drugstore. Vamos a ver si es cierto. Okay. Where's the, what's the bookstore? It's on Pine Street, está sobre la calle Pine, okay, between the bank and the drugstore. That's the bookmark bookstore, okay? Y luego me tienen que dar otra referencia. It's across the street from the gas station. Let's see. It's across from or across the street from the gas station. Ahí está. Aquí usted está indicando sobre qué calle está, en medio de qué está, y enfrente de qué está. ¿Ok? Todavía pueden decir, it's behind the parking lot. The parking lot. So remember the location expressions. You can use behind, atrás o detrás, in front of, enfrente de, solo que del mismo lado de la calle, conste. Next to, a la par, between, entre, inside, adentro, outside, afuera. On, on first street, on the corner of main and first, and across from, o pueden decir across the street from, o pueden decir opposite, simplemente. Okay? Siempre acuérdense que across from y in front of, los dos en español se traducen como enfrente de o frente a, ¿verdad? La diferencia es que in front of está enfrente, pero siempre del mismo lado de la calle. Mientras que across from es, es enfrente, pero hay que cruzarse la calle. Okay, remember that. So what about number two? Where are the public restrooms? Busquen ahí los public restrooms y a ver quién me dice dónde está. Por ahí están, public restrooms. Vamos a hacer esto más grande ahí para que se vea bien. Where are the public restrooms? Paulilio. The public restroom is there. Plural, plural. The public restrooms? This. Mm -mm. No podemos decir is porque es oh. plural. Uh -huh. The public restrooms are are uh -huh. are in front. Recomendación. Siempre, okay. empece, siempre empecemos por la calle en la que está. Yeah. Uh -huh. On Third Avenue. Okay. The public restrooms are on Third Avenue. Uh -huh. What else? Behind fun. Uh, supermarket, la otra palabra, si no sé cómo se dice. Food treasure supermarket, but Food they are they are treasure. not they are not behind, not exactly. Between, uh, next to, next to, casi casi, pareciera que son parte de él, así que podemos decir que está. Veamos ahí las expression. Inside, no, lo contrario. Outside. Outside, okay, outside. Um, uh, food treasures treasure supermarket uh -huh. supermarket supermarket okay all right we can say that take a look they are on third avenue or the public restrooms are on third avenue next to the department store and they are outside the supermarket okay okay Cecia, the next one is yours or do you have a question 
No. Eh, sí, está bien. Sigamos. Okay. Where is the parking lot? Let's zoom in. Vamos a acercar un poquito. Where is the parking lot? The parking lot is eh, Oak Street. The preposition, the parking lot is? It's on the Oak Street. It's on Oak Street. Uh -huh. It's on Oak Street. Uh -huh. Between mm -hmm. Dance Deli and the Shoe Place. Okay, very good. ¿Qué más? Um, behind the Bookmark Bookstore. Okay, good. Where's the parking lot? It's on Oak Street between the deli and the shoe store. It's behind the bookstore. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Cecia. The next one. Where are the ATMs? Automatic teller machines. So where are the ATMs? O sea, los cajeros. Son dos, ¿verdad? Así que... Where are the ATMs? Busquen ahí los ATMs. Son los cajeros. Ah, no, me está haciendo acá participar, denle chance a los demás. Justo encontrar los tiches. <risa> Te admiro. Ajá. Ahorita no me puede participar ni Carlos, ni Baudilio, ni Cecia, ni María Magdalena, ni Karen Yulisa, ni me puede participar María de Lourdes tampoco. Quiero ver quién más no me puede participar. A los demás. Quiero ver quién me dice. Ebert, okay. Ebert, where are the ATMs? Um, Pay Street. Okay, me puede decir ahí, ¿verdad? The ATMs. The ATMs. Pay Street. El verb B, falta ahí, ¿verdad? The ATMs. Is Amor. Is. De, pay... hecho, de hecho, no, porque son dos. Entonces no puede ser is. Yes. Yes. They. They. Mm -hmm. Ajá. They. They. Are. En Pay Street. Ajá. They are. Ajá. En Pay Street. What's the preposition? They are. They are. They are. They are. En Pay Street. No. In. No es in. Sino in, que es. In. Mm -mm. It's not in. Ah. Home. On, okay. On, on Pine Pain, Street. Pain, Pine Street. Pine, Pine Street. Pine Street. Mm -hmm. mm, across from is by Ride Electronics. By Ride Electronics. Okay, good. Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. <laughs> okay, where are the ATMs? They are on Pine Street. Puede decir in front of the bank or outside the bank. Okay. And they are across from the electronic store. O puede decir, they are across the street from the electronic store. Or they are opposite the electronic store. Okay, thank you, Ebert. Very good. The next one. Where is the gas station? Ahora, todos los que había mencionado no pueden participar. Tampoco puede Ebert. Okay, tiene que ser alguien más. Aquí me espero. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where is the gas station? Ah, veamos, veamos. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Me puede participar Enrique Pérez o Arles Ernesto o me puede participar Carlos Edgardo Cruz 
David Antonio, Edith Consuelo, Erika Beatriz, Ever Alvallero, voy a contestar también, Ever Enrique, Franklin de la O, Iván Alexis, José Amílcar, José Benjamín, José Valentín, Juan Carlos Portillo, Juan Francisco Arrozábal, Karen Yulisa, Mar, eh, quiero ver, no, Karen Yulisa ya participó bastante, eh, Mauro Orlando, puede participar también, Mónica Ivet, Oscar Susaña, Salvador Hernández, Saúl Ernesto, Wilber, puede participar también, o Wilber me dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Ajá, compañeros, where is the gas station? Demuéstrenme ahí, ¿verdad? Demuéstrenme que me pueden decir dónde está el lugar. Vamos, es la última. No veo la gasolinera, teacher. No, ahí está, miren. No le digo dónde porque le doy la respuesta. ¿Ah? ¿Y ¿Quién le indica, Enrique, por dónde está la gasolinera? Vaya. Dígale, Enrique, dónde está en inglés. Ajá. Number five, where is the gas station? Vamos. Teacher, ¿cómo comienzo? Comienza por la calle. <laughs> Eso es lo primero. Uh, the gas station. Este, eh, Gas station. Uh, R. Mm -mm, solo una. Entonces, the gas right. station. Uh, is. Is. Uh, Spin. Spin Street. Ok, Pine Street, pero le faltó la preposición. Uh, on. On Pine Street. Uh -huh. On Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Ok, yeah. so the gas station is on Pine Street. Very good. Uh, eh, eh, to between uh, by right electron it's not between it is quiero podemos ver next to ajá uh -huh. next to next to By Ray Electron. Electronics. Electronics. And also? Uh, to cross. Across. Across the, the, the bookmark bookstores. Across from the bookmark bookstore. So, yes. Okay, yes. thank you, Enrique. Where's the gas station? It's on Pine Street. Okay. It's next to the electronic store, across from the bookmark bookstore. Okay, very good. All right. I'm going to take attendance por última vez. Um, Adán Iglesias Velázquez, creo que no se conectó. No pudo conectarse, creo. No se pudo conectar. Okay. Okay, thank you. Monica Ivette Merino. Monica Ivette. Presente, teacher. Presente, okay, Monica. thank you. Thank you. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. No, ya se va. Santos, perdón. Ya, yeah, Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Creo que no se pudo conectar. Okay, everybody. We're going to stop here. Acuérdense, eh, mañana no hay clase, ok, mañana es viernes, así que eh, descansa. Mañana me cae. I'll see you Monday, ok. Ok, take see you, care. See you Monday. See you Monday. See you Monday. Have, have, have a great night, weekend. Everybody. Good night. Have a good weekend. ¿Qué? Me too. Mm -hmm. no, pa, no 